What up, Rafflitos? Welcome back to my channel. Where we are, we're at Sussex Street and Saffron Street. Right, Saffron Street. That's Saffron Street. We just came off of Saffron Street. It eventually runs into the East Bank Public Road once you get to, was it Mandela Avenue? past Thir Thirst Park. This is the Charlestown Market. So we're in Charlestown. But what I want to do today is to show you, we're gonna walk up Saffron's, uh, Sussex Street. We're gonna walk up Sussex Street for a minute to Smite Street. I wanna show you what is happening with Smite Street. So we've walked along Broad Street and I show you how that important um, artery Broad Street has been transformed a lot of Chinese restaurants a lot of Chinese businesses and a lot of construction um, companies what I want to do today is to show you what's happening on um, Smite Street but to do that I need to get to Smite Street and I'm doing so on Sussex so this is Sussex Street in 20 23. Those of you who have lived here, grew up here, would probably recognize some of the older buildings. This property is for sale. The major used to be, I think, a food manufacturing company or packaging company. And now they're selling it. I think it used to be owned by Tosis, the Tosi Passades. But yeah, this is Saffron, uh, sorry, this is Sussex. And what I want to do is show you Smite Street. Now at the corner of Smite Street and Sussex is where the interest in this video starts. Because Smite Street was one of the famous streets in Georgetown. It has the most schools now besides or behind Thomas Street or oh, is that Wolford Avenue behind Wolford Avenue so this is Sussex Street I guess named for the Royals Sussexes this is Carmel Carmel High School here at the corner of Sussex and Smite Street a lot of you who grew up in this neighborhood probably remember the schools, the famous schools in this neighborhood. This is what Carmel High School looks like now. It's a neighborhood secondary school. Deals with uh, 10 year olds all the way up to, I guess, 15, 16 year olds. That's when you graduate from, that's when you graduate from ordinary levels here in Guyana. If you go on to A levels you can probably still learn until 18, 17 or 18 year olds. So we have, this is Smite Street, right? Sussex Street continues in that direction but what I want to show you is Smite Street. This is Smite Street and Smite Street is one of those famous streets you don't hear very much of it at one point it was one of the most important streets in Georgetown so this is Carmel Secondary School you just saw one side of it on Sussex the next school this is Charlestown Charlestown Secondary School so now you get the picture I'm showing you the street with the most schools well one of the streets with a large number of schools now it's also a residential street so you're going to see a number of residential homes businesses and people who've started their own companies Good morning people who started their own companies their law firms their you know enterprises and so on I'm going to show you some of those in a minute but this one is Charlestown it's the second 
school on Sussex Street, on uh, Smite Street. This is Smite Street, right? That's Charleston, Charlestown Secondary School here on Smite Street. Right, like I said, it's, it's a residential street. Number of churches too. This is the AME Church, Ebenezer, AME Church. This is called AME Zion. It's an African Methodist. Episcopalian AME Afri African Methodist Episcopalian Church here on Smite Street. And this is Kite Small Baker. That's Bellamy. Somebody was complaining the other day that a certain name, a certain name did not sound Guyanese. Guess what? There are all kinds of names in Guyana. This is Bellamy's, and Bellamy is a Guyanese name. Right. So this is this is Smite Street. At the corner here, you have this is a Ministry of Education building. So there are a number of government buildings also on Smite Street. These are the local homes. That's Omi's. Right. A business operated out of residential building and this is the street this intersection is Broad Street we did walk along Broad Street so I showed you in the past how important changes have been made to Broad Street across on Broad Street and Smite Street that's Dolphins Secondary School that's Dolphins Secondary School and on this side here you go the Child Protection Agency, the sign says there, the Child Protection Agency, which is affiliated with the Ministry of Education. Charles Street and, what is it? Broad Street. Okay, so this section is Charles Street. This section is called Charles Street. So, I guess once you cross over, it becomes Smite Street once you cross over on the other side of Broad Street. Let's see. So this is Lotus Hardware. It's a Chinese hardware store. And that's Broad Street. We've actually walked along Broad Street before. Sakon is the end. And at the other end of Broad Street, I think it runs into the Larry Frontier Cemetery. Let's continue along well, what was, what was uh, Charles Street, which we were walking on. We were walking on Charles Street and continuing on Smite Street. Right, that's a Lotus Hardware Store. Charles Street in Charlestown. And that's the Dolphins Secondary School. Pretty large and well-known high school. So that's the third high school so far on this street. Charles Street becoming Smite Street. So it's a residential street of quite um, significant history in Guyana. It's now also a commercial street. So it's Charles and Evans. Sign says Charles. So this is still we are still on Charles Street. Charles and Evans over here. And this is Petty Pawn Shop. Quality Inn. I suppose it's a micro hotel. And on this side. Number of residences. Charles Street, Charles Street in Charlestown becomes Smite Street. I guess once you cross over, oh, you're not in. Once you cross over the next intersection, which is Princess Street or Prince's Street, Prince's Street. It's 
So that's what happens here. This is Charles Street in Charlestown. We've passed three schools so far. This school, this, this street also had Central High School. They've actually moved Central High School to this building on Princess Street. So that's where Central High School now is now located. I think it used to be St. Mary's, but now it's Central High School. This building was built to replace an older building that housed the Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV, where you needed to get your, you need to go to get your fitness, your vehicle license and fitness. And so now they have rebuilt this building. It's called GRA License Office. It says coming soon. GRA License Office, but it has not yet been occupied. Remember running into. So here it is, Smite Street. So at this point, Charles Street becomes Smite Street. Right? That's the street sign. Charles Street becomes Smite Street. And this is Henry. Henry Street. And Smite Street. And that's the DMV building. The new DMV building is not yet occupied. Then there is Smite Street Nursery School, that's over here. Smite Street Nursery School. You know, that's what the fourth school on this street, Smite Street, which was Charles Street. Right, that's Bertha and Mackie. It's a restaurant at the corner. It's not a showroom. Morning. And these are residential homes on Smite Street. The next um, compound is Smite Street Church. Which one is that? I think it's an Anglican church. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But this is their property. It's a colonial style mansion right for the church it used to be referred to as a manse but directly opposite that church right directly opposite that church is this church which is the seventh day adventist church which one is this i think it's called ephesus morning that's the seventh day adventist church ephesus and we're on Smite Street. This is the Smite Street entrance to the AME, to the uh, Smite Street Anglican Church, I think. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse of it here. All right, that's the church, and it's Right, that's the church. This is one entrance to the church and its man's. Right, they actually rebuilt that church a decade or so ago because it had fell, fallen into disrepair. Over here, this property is supposed to become the Masonic Lodge, Scott's Masonic Lodge. So this is supposed to be the Scottish Lodge, Masonic Lodge. That's the Smite Street Anglican Church. The next intersection is Durban Street. Right, that's Durban Street. Durban and Smite Street. That's the site for the new Scottish Masonic Temple for Freemasons. Over here. 
a new building that's being constructed to replace an old building on Durban and Smite. That's Durban Street looking west. That's Durban Street looking east. There's a prison. Uh, the Georgetown prison is at the corner of Durban and um, Camp Street. And at the other end, at High Street, that's where you have the Durban and High Street Carnegie School of Home Economics, which I mentioned in the previous video. But this is Smite Street. We're walking further along, that's north along Smite Street. So there's two more, three more blocks before you get to the end of it, where it ends. So this is another new construction. I suspect it's a government building. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to check as time goes by. All right, that's the original colonial architecture, but this is a new, new building that's being put up here at the corner of Smite Street. And which one is this? I can't remember the name of this street. There's no sign on it, but those of you who know this neighborhood will probably fill me in in the comments. That's new on Smite Street. This is where Central High School was in about a decade or so ago when they moved, until they moved it. They sort of built, rebuilt this building and now the Ministry of Education, new admin division is located here. That's a Smite Street. Well, it's Monday morning. It's the national holiday in Diwali, Festival of Lights. So although it's early, it's still around seven or so. It's still quite, um, the streets are quite empty because it's still, it's a national holiday. This is Smite Street. I think this is what, car enterprise, truck and auto sales. So they sell vehicles over here. All right, like I said, it's one of those streets where you have commercial and residential buildings. Hadfield Street, so at the corner of Hadfield and Smite Street now. So Smite Street goes for another two blocks. But here is something, they're building a new, um, I suppose, commercial building over here. Beyond that frame, you can see in the distance that Buddy, Buddy's Housing Development. I think they're building a hotel over there. Buddy's been building that hotel for Buddy Shivraj, that is, for about a decade or more. In the distance, you can see another nine-story building going up on Kroll Street. And this is where the, so this is where the police station, the Brickland police station is located. There was a fire here. There was a fire here started by one of the prisoners. This building has not yet been rebuilt. That is the police station. But it has been surrounded. So we're still on Smite Street. So this is how the city has changed, has transformed. We're finally in the rainy season again. So that's Brickdown Police Station. There was a fire that destroyed the major... Oh, the name of the street has changed again, I guess, from Hadfield Street has changed to Sandal Place. So Smite Street, so it was, we started out as uh, Charles Street then Smite Street, and now it's called Sandal Place. Brick Dam and Sandal Place, that's downtown. Georgetown at the end of Brick Dam, that's the, 
the end of Brick Dam, you'll find the Stabroth Market. There's a seven story building that's being completed. A commercial, a sort of office building, office tower. This one is the multi story, again, I suppose, an office tower. And let's just finish off on Sandal Place. Buddy's, it's Monday, like Buddy Shivraj. So how are you doing, man? Yeah, today is Monday. The, it, yeah, it's like a Diwali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here is Sandals Place. Oh, that's Brickdown Cathedral. Brickdown Cathedral, which is the largest Catholic church in Georgetown. And this is the end of Sandal Place. So, Smite Street becomes Sandal Place, I guess, when you cross over Hadfield or Brick Dam. And this is Kroll Street. It's the other end, the northern end of this most famous street in Guyana in Georgetown. There you have it guys. Sandal Place, Smite Street and Charles Street through Charlestown. Take a good look at it. This is Kroll Street. This is the least busy, the least amount of traffic you will ever find on this street because it's also one of the routes for the minibus all the way down to right this is the route they take to Stabrook Market. Stabrook Market is at the western end of Crow Street and that's where we've come. We've come along Charles Street, Smite Street and Sandal Place. So that's it guys. If you want to see more content like this click like and subscribe. This is just another look. I haven't done a walking tour of Georgetown in this neck of the woods for a while, just thought I'd give you a brief um, look at this neck of the woods. Share this video with friends and family around the world. If you used to live in this neck of the woods and you're familiar with some of these streets, fill us in on some of the history. Tell us what it was before and whether you recognize it now as it gets transformed. And I don't even think this is the final version of it because I suppose once the oil and gas money starts to really hit Georgetown, this city is going to be transformed, even though they're building a new city called Silica City to replace it. This city is still going to be transformed by the money that's coming in. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later!